Today I want to talk to you about power management and how to make your computer perform a little better than what you get when you first uh, get it from a computer store or from a retail store. The first thing that you want to do is go to the start menu and open the control panel. Now I've made a shortcut here for the control panel but I just want to show you where it is. On the creators update you've got to go all the way down to the Windows system file and then click on control panel. Once you're in here you've got power options. You can then adjust these power options to suit what you want. Now if you want it to be on high performance you're going to need to change the little radio button here to, to select high performance. Usually it comes with balanced and sometimes it comes with more power saving options like this one here, the power saver. Basically what this does is it reduces the power or increases the power to the computer to make it perform either better or worse. The more power saving options you have turned on, the less it's actually going to perform. So I like to use high performance. I like to change my plan to uh, never turn off the display because I'm on a desktop and I don't want my computer to go to sleep. You've got the option to change all these if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, if I go to change advanced power settings, first thing that I want to do is turn off the hard disk. Do I want the machine to turn off? Do I want the hard disk to turn off after no use? No, I don't want it to turn off at all. Usually this is set to 20 minutes. I set this to zero so it doesn't do any of that change. Uh, do I want it to sleep after how many minutes? Never, because it's on the high performance option. You can allow hybrid sleep, you can hibernate after a while, you can allow wake timers if you want to. Now this one's the critical bit, the USB settings. Do you want the USB points or, or ports to be disabled after a long time of no use? The answer is no. So I've set this to disabled. Um, so if the power does go after 20 minutes on the machine, it's actually not going to turn off if it has been inactive for no use. Now this is critical to think about this for your little Wi-Fi devices, whether they're Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. This will function the same, thing, same way for the network too. And I'm going to show you a shortcut here to change those. So if you go back to all control panel icons or items and go into device manager, you've got the ability to change all of these settings for power management as well. So I want to go down to the USB devices here and the USB serial bus controllers. Now you've got these little hubs. These are basically the ports that are plugged in for USB. So you've got the USB hub and you've got USB root hub. It's the root hubs that you want to change and the generic hub as well. So you want to be able to make sure that this is not selected. Because what happens is, if you allow that to happen, it is going to turn off after a while when it hasn't been used for 20 minutes. So I'm going to go into all of these individually and take that tick out of the box and make sure that that's all turned off. Okay, that's good. Generic super speed. I'm going to turn that off as well and turn that off too. Now you can also do this for your Bluetooth devices and your network devices as well. So just to make sure, double click on the, uh, the item and then untick this box. Same on the Bluetooth, that one doesn't have it. The next one might, no, okay. 
some Bluetooth devices have the ability to shut off as well. Turning this power management section off will allow your device never to turn off at all. If you've been away from the machine for a while, it'll still be working. That's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.